I am coming to you from Popotla, Mexico, and I'm going to do a tutorial on a new snap bag. I've got my vinyl ready. I'm doing the 5 by 7 bag, so my vinyl and my felt are both 6 by 8 inches. And I have my machine set up, I have the design in the machine, my thread, and also I have a matching bobbin for the final color. Let's get started. All right, I have my placement lines done, and now I'm going to take a piece of vinyl that is six by eight, one inch longer, one inch tall or wider than my five by seven project, and then I'm going to put that in the hoop. And I'm going to run the second color, and that is going to tack that in place. And I finished the second stitch, the tack down. So now the vinyl is tacked down. This is the front. At this point, if you want to add a monogram or something like that, you can do so. Um, and where you would add that would be, I'm flipping it upside down right now, would be near the bottom, near here. Because this flap is going to come over and snap there, so you're going to, you would want it right toward the bottom here. So you go ahead and do that after your second step if you want to add something to it. And then what we're going to do is we're going to flip it to the back side. And there we have the back, what it looks like. We're going to take a piece of felt. And again, our felt is one inch longer and one inch wider than the five by seven. So it is six by eight. And then I'm going to tape it in place here and here just to secure it. Now we're going to put that on the hoop and we're going to run our final stitch. Remember, before you run your final stitch, you need to change your bobbin to a matching color. Here we now have the front or the outside and the inside of the bag stitched together. It's a really solid stitch. And at this point we're going to start our finishing. The first thing we're going to do is take it out of the hoop and we're going to tear away as much stabilizer from the outer edges as we can and then we're going to trim around all the outer edges. Alright, we have it fully cut out now and we need to add our snaps. Now in this version the third color stitched the front and the back together, the inside the outside together. Your version, I've updated since then, and it will also include um, snap placement circles, so you'll know where to add the snaps. But I'm going to start adding those and give you a peek along the way. I want you to see here that the side, the flap, which is the back, is going to be the one that connects to the bottom. So I snapped together the one part I did the snaps on and now I'm clicking holes on the other one and even with the snap holes I like to line these up like this and poke my tool through both edges just to make sure I get a perfect closure and I'm using cam snaps um, you can use other snaps as well I'm using cam size 20s let's take a good look at the snap placements um, this top one is what I call the male, and the bottom here is a female. This is where the flap closes to the front. We have a male here, female here, male here, female here, female, male, female, male. Um, I wanted to see a good picture, good information about the snap placements. And this is complete, and I'm going to snap it up and give you a peek. Here's the inside of the bag. This is the 5x7. Nice for little surprises for a friend, or um, one of my testers actually put a grommet here and a key fob and used it as a little key fob, which is a cute idea as well. Okay, guys. 
uh, Kim asked me to do a video to show you guys how I rivet the bag together. So I've already punched the holes for the bag. I have the holes for the bottom sides, the top sides, and then I also put in holes for a place for a keychain and for the flaps. So I'm using rivets instead of snaps. Um, I tend to like the rivets because if you look, the bag is completely closed on the sides and you don't have to worry about it coming apart. And then I add a few little extra things to make the bag look a little cuter. So um, in order to rivet it, you're going to need to punch in the three holes for the bottom. Uh, I typically start by uh, putting the sides together like this, and then I punch all three pieces, and then after I punch them, I open it up, and then I punch it with um, a leather punch like this. Um, it seems to make it a lot easier. So when I put it together... Um, I go ahead and put the t sides together and this is the, the rivet I'm using right here. Um, you can use any kind of rivets you want. These are just the rivets I had in my stash. So I go ahead and put them together through the sides and it is kind of a tight squeeze so you have to feel around to make sure you get it through all the holes. And then after you get it through all three whole pieces, okay, you go ahead and put the back of the rivet on. And I typically leave it open like this because it's very difficult to try and run the crimpers. And this is all I use. It's just a crimper that I have that I use for um, snaps. I'm sure it's probably not the correct one, but this is what I've been using and it's been doing a good job. So I go ahead and you'll see the throat's kind of narrow. So because the throat's kind of narrow, I use it. Um, I have to leave the, door, the sides open a little bit. But I'll crimp it, and once I crimp it, you'll see that I can reshape the bag a little bit, and I'll have my side riveted. So I'm going to go ahead and do that with both sides. And then I go ahead and do the top. And you'll see it gets kind of cumbersome because they are kind of small. The pieces parts are a little on the tiny side. But I like the way it comes out. I think it makes the bag look really cute. And you know it's pretty secure. And it's not going to go anywhere. And then once I do... The sides, I go ahead and I like to have a um, place for me to attach my keychain, keychain, my key ring. So I add a little grommet to the top here. Oops, backwards. 
So there's my grommet, and I attach my hardware, and then I have my snaps that I also attach. Okay, so I have that done, and then all I have left to do is to slide my key ring through the top. And there is my finished bag. Hope you liked it.